Добрый день, меня зовут Полуляк Елена Владимировна, я учитель информатики областной специализированной школы для одаренных детей номер 8. Сегодня на моем уроке мне будет ассистировать моя коллега Удеева Эльвира Джамильевна и тема нашего урока 11 класс, естественно, на математическое направление Sphere of Usage of Artificial Intelligence. Welcome to my lesson. Dear class, welcome to the lesson. And uh, first of all, I want to check in at the attendance, uh, who is absent and who are present at our lesson. And uh, you should be registered in user's register. We will uh, revise the separate rules uh, for using our computer. Let's start our lesson. And uh, now, uh, look at in active, active board, you can see the pictures. And uh, what is uh, your opinion? Uh, what will be the theme of our lesson? Explore this picture and answer. Maybe artificial intelligence. Uh, okay, well, well, good. And the theme of our lesson today? Uh, welcome, read. Sphere of usage of artificial intelligence. Thank you. And uh, let's think, what uh, will be the main goals of our lesson? What is your idea? Um, describing of apps of artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. What will be our result success criteria? Uh, maybe uh, to know and uh, describe the artificial uh, intelligence in uh, these spheres. Okay, good. And now, uh, welcome and read the lesson objectives. Uh, lesson objectives. Describe the scope of application of artificial intelligence in industry, education, etc. And expected results. Uh, know and describe current trends in the development of artificial intelligence. Thank you very much. And uh, as this lesson, we will have the driving question, the key question of our lesson. Which areas of artificial intelligence usage will be a priority in the future. Let's write down these driving questions into your copybook. At the previous lesson, we introduced with a new term in artificial intelligence. We discussed the features of artificial intelligence and main facts. That is why now you will uh, do the individual work. Uh, now take your smartphones and scan these QRs with interactive tasks. Uh, these interactive tasks will be assessed. Also, these tasks uh, we can um, uh, do on a computer uh, with usage the browser Google Chrome. For example, you can see the picture here. Okay, dear students, I saw the result of your uh, interactive tasks. Uh, well done. And uh, let's go to introduct with new things. And uh, uh, now you will uh, study this material in group work. But first of all, I should divide you into four groups. That is why I will use the one services of artificial intelligence. It will be the generator. Uh, this generator will be uh, create the groups. Uh, I typed before my lesson the name of the, uh, our students and uh, I should determine how many person will be in each group. Four group with uh, four person. Here you can see the names of this group. Uh, now make a group and we will work together. Now let's start uh, work in group. Each group has the link 
uh, the video. You should watch this video. After this, your group will discuss uh, the sentences and finish these sentences at the poster. The first sentences, artificial intelligence can be used. You should write down the finish of the sentences. And you should write down examples of artificial intelligence in these spheres. Welcome and let's go our uh, video. Uh, take your earphones, take your earphones and let's start watching this video. I give you seven minutes for this task. Uh, the time of our group work is over. Let's present your job. The first group, welcome. And uh, tell us what the skills usage you will uh, introduce. It. So the first, uh, customer service and streamline marketing and lead generation, analyze credit story and chatbot consulting. What the sphere it was, what the sphere it was, uh, AI can be used in banking. Sphere Thank of banking. You. Thank you, your group, sit down please. The result of uh, work our group, you can see at the uh, blackboard, here you can see the first group, there are uh, four arguments, that is why four coins, here just three arguments, this is three mark, four for group in medicine and about education, four points. This type of our uh, lesson, group work is over. Next step of our lesson, uh, work in pairs. Uh, for example, you can see the diagram. This diagram named usage of artificial intelligence. Each part has a name, medicine, education, and etc. What you should do? You should create pairs and uh, cre categorize uh, the examples by the areas of usage. You will do this task at the poster. Here and there, the same information. I give you five minutes for this work. Uh, for this task, you can use our textbook, Russian textbook, at the page number five. Here you can see the Russian equivalence of this task. I pass to page number five and let's start the ta this task. our uh, work is over, let's uh, check up what is the right answers. Now at the interactive board you can see the right answer. Draw the plus if your answer is right. Let's read the right answer. Uh, please welcome, read these categories. Now we will have a relaxing time. We will uh, play with words. Uh, you should tell me the Russian uh, or English equivalents. The first one is post on the internet. Artificial intelligence. Thank you. Cyber security, cyber mm -hmm. uh, intellect, intelligence, thank you, and name uh, uh, the sphere of usage of artificial intelligence, uh, education, agriculture, uh, and uh, at this lesson we discussed about spheres of usage artificial intelligence. Now we know the names and examples. And let's uh, revise our driving question. This driving question was, 
which areas of artificial intelligence usage will be a priority in the future. What is your opinion for this question? Uh, we discussed your opinions uh, about our driving questions. Do you want to know what uh, think about this question? Uh, the famous people in computer world. Let me introduce the person which uh, will answer for our driving question. We will know opinion of these people. Elon Musk, John von Neyman, Bill Gates and Isaac Asimov. For discussion with this person, uh, we will use the artificial intelligence services character AI. You will ask the question, but you should write down the short answer of this person. Choose the person which you want to ask. For example, Elon Musk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here you can see the portrait. And uh, here you should type the question. Which areas of AI will be a priority mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we are waiting some information here you can see the answer but sometimes it is difficult to understand what the main idea that is why we can select this block select with it mm -hmm. uh, type mm -hmm. and uh, translate into russian here you can see the english equivalents and there the translation for example искусственный интеллект будет уделять приоритетное внимание таким областям, как здравоохранение, образование, транспорт, маркетинг, экономика, в общем, везде, где внедрение и может привести к оптимизации. Все, все будет оптимизировано, а деятельность человека будет сведена к минимуму. Close this window and let's read in English equivalents. AI will prioritize areas like healthcare, education, transport, marketing, economics in general everywhere where the introduction of AI can lead to optimization of business process and human activity. And now I will show you that these services, artificial intelligence services, can answer with voice. That is why I will uh, pass to this service and I will uh, ask John von Neyman about this idea. I type these questions and go John von Neyman answer it in English but sometimes it's very difficult to understand some composite uh, and word combination. That is why we can select this answer, type the left button of our mouse and translate into Russian. Here you can see the Russian equivalence of this text. Одно из областей, которая, вероятно, останется приоритетной в будущем, является обработка естественного языка. And we can hear the voice uh, answer of John von Neyman. One area that is likely to continue to be a priority in the future is natural language processing NLP. NLP refers to the ability of computers to understand, generate, and interpret human language, and it is used. You will ask the question, but you should write down the short answer of this person. This task is over. Okay. At this lesson, we uh, discussed about spheres of usage artificial intelligence. Now you know the spheres name and the examples. And we discussed with famous uh, people in computer world the opinion about question which areas of artificial intelligence will be in priority. 
Let's revise the objectives of our lesson. Read these objectives and draw the class if these objectives for you are achieved. For reflection, our lesson into your copy book, finish these sentences. Write down the begin of the sentences and finish the end of the sentences. Now let's uh, share your emotion uh, for, from this lesson. Show me like if your uh, if our lesson is good for you. So so if uh, you have some troubles and dislike if our lesson is not was not good for you. Our lesson is finishing, and I will assess your task with some criteria and uh, write down your home task. It will be reading the article 1.1 into your Russian computer textbook and you should prepare a make of list with three arguments about advantages and disadvantages of usage artificial intelligence by human. The lesson is over. Goodbye.